What's up guys? Welcome back. You back to kick it with Lose Fix It. Today I brought the red cat back out here because um when I was doing my top five bash or drive video, a lot of a couple people came up and was asking, you know, how was the red cat machete? How is that car running? You know what I'm saying? So today I'm gonna give y'all a complete review on what I think of the red cat machete. How I think it performs. This is not everybody's opinion on it. This is my opinion, my personal opinion on the Red Cat Machete. So uh, I'm gonna start off first with just the look of it. The look of it, bad ass man. The look, uh, the low riding, the way it sits so low, the tires is higher than the front. Bad ass, man. Bad ass. The tires is, uh, the tire job. I'm just going off the look. The tires, I could go with a little bit bigger tires, but the tires is perfect for it. The tires look, the look of the tires is perfect for it. Um, the whole thing, the way the whole thing is just glid out, the size of it is so big with that low cut look. Uh, you, you expect for this one to be a 1.6. That when you get the car, you're going to be sitting up like this. You know, it's going to be sitting up pretty high. But not the machete. The machete sits down low. It, it glides. And yes, it definitely, the look is definitely, oh, uh, man. With the front of it, uh, the front with that grill. Oh, man. It, it definitely looks good. It definitely looks good. The blend of the color and inside of it, that red, black, and gray. Uh, it looks like, um... One of the crate, I mean, one of the uh, armor cards with that red and black, but this one just got a little bit more red. You know, armor got more black and gray than the red. This one got the opposite. It's more red than a black and gray, but it looks good. It definitely looks good. Um, the electronics inside of it, the servo, I don't, I don't see that much. I don't see a problem with the servo. It can be a little bit better. It's not the best servo. But it can be a little bit better. But the way the, the run of the car with the servo, not a problem. Not a problem. So I got the 4S. This one comes in a 4S and a 6S. I got the 4S. And the reason why I got the 4S, because I had a 6S, that I, a Mamba system that I wanted to put inside of here. And I knew I was going to put it inside there. That's why I got the 4S. Otherwise, I would have definitely got the 6S. I would not get this vehicle this size because both of them is the same size only difference in it is the shell of the body from what i seen it could be more little details on the insides the shocks or whatever i don't know but from what i seen only thing i seen different is the color of the shell so the six i was i got the 4s and i was putting the 6s inside of it but i did get a chance to run it back and forth with the 4s it's okay um the 4S uh, motor ESC that they have that it comes with, it's okay. It's not bad. It's definitely bash worthy. You know, um, you can run this thing. It's, it's, see, I'm used to all my other bashes. So, you know, when I'm thinking about the size of this thing and how it's bashing with the 4S inside of it that it came with, it's like, okay, it's all right. It's not, it's not crazy. You know, it's all right. But when I put the 6S inside of it, now this baby, yo, this thing lining up, it, it's lining up with the Big Rock. Honestly, it was lining up with the Big Rock. It was past the Creighton, the uh, 6S Creighton, it was lining up with the Big Rock. So as far as with the 6S system that I put inside here, oh my God, this thing is crazy. This thing is running like perfect. I'm not even gonna lie, the tires, Cannot handle the 6S. I put the tires back on because I didn't get no uh, um, upgrade tires specifically for this one. I took the Big Rock tires and put it on here. I had the backflip tires on here. It runs perfect, but I need to get this one tires for this car. I, I, like, I don't like changing tires from cars when I'm going out the batch. If I'm taking all of them out the batch, I'm going to have tires spe specifically for all of them. Oh. My dude fell down. There you go. So, um, 
the tires that it comes with definitely not equipped to go with 6S. It's it's it, it's like the Creighton. It, it pancakes a lot. You know, it runs. It definitely runs. It runs beautiful with these tires. The original tires are faster. You know, it runs fast. Definitely runs fast. But it pancakes. And I don't like the tires pancaking when I'm running it because if they pop, my car is, you know, it's gone. It's going to flip. It's going to do something. And another thing about the body. First time I took this thing out, it hit a lump. Flipped up. <laughs> flipped up in the air. And it's going forward. And it flipped forward. And it slid on the top, maybe about 30 feet, 20, 30 feet. I think I captured it on the video on the unboxing of this, the ending of the video of the unboxing. The protection that they have on this, when it flips, is all it's touching. You got a, a, a um, guard here on the front, a guard on the top, and your wing. Your body, not touching the body. No scuff to the body. Only the guard pieces got scuffs on it. And, you know, straight out the box, out in the street, I was like, damn, it scuffed up the whole top. You know, but it only scuffed up the guards of it. I said, whatever. I don't really care. The guards, the wing, the wings, all my cars. If it got a wing on it, the wing is definitely scuffed up. It's definitely, you know, look like I tried to sand it down or something. That, that just is what it is. Um, So the body, the protection of the body, great. The look of it. Great. The ESC and the motor that it comes with, no. The servo that it comes with, okay. It's, it's more good. <clears throat> it's more good than okay. It's not great. Um, the electronic, the 4S. I don't. I didn't get the 6S, so I can't judge the 6S. I'm judging the 4S. 4S. So the 4S system that it comes with is okay. For the, it's, it's a good system, but not for this size. If this was a Give or take a uh, 108 or 110, the system that it comes with, great. But for this to be a 16 with the 4S system that it comes with, nah, the size and the power really don't match up. It really didn't match up. So, you know, that's going off the system that it comes with, the system that I have inside of it, that 6S, whoo. So my advice, if you is gonna, if you is looking at the machete, I believe it's just a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollar difference between the 4S and the 6S. If you're looking at the machete, the 4S is okay. It's okay to start with. If you have a system inside the house that you can upgrade it with, definitely save your money, get the 4S, and put the 6S system inside of it and bash that thing. But if you don't have a system and you could save up a little bit more to get the 6S. So get the 6S. Don't waste your time getting the 4S and then going to buy a whole new system to put inside of it, to upgrade it to the 6S. Don't do that, man, because you're going you're gonna to spend more money in the, in, the, you know, in the long run. So you might as well just get the 6S. So if you're looking to power, get more power out of it, just get the 6S. Don't put a big opinion gear inside of it because the, they, this don't come with a speed pinion gear. So if you put a bigger pinion gear inside of it, it's going to heat the motor, the ESC is going to get too hot. It's going to shut down on you. Believe me, I tried it. It shut down on me. I had it in a Vendetta, and it shut down on me, so I took it out of there, put it inside the Vertex, and put a small, the same pinion gear that it came with, and put that inside the Vertex, and see how that's going to go. Now, let's get down to the shocks, to the actual... Now, okay, if we're going to dig, stay inside the inside of it, and we're going to dig inside of it... Um. The system, the setup system, your um, your uh, spur gear, your uh, uh, center rods. I mean, everything is metal. You know, the whole setup, the way the car is set up to run, the, all of the uh, servo. I didn't get inside of the differentials to see what, how, what kind of gearing they have inside there. So I'm not judging. Off of, uh, you know, the differentials with the 6S haven't had a problem. They've been running. I did nothing jammed up, nothing uh, stripped on me. So that's not a problem. You know, it's handling this 6S like a champ, you know. So I don't have no problems with that. So the chassis is metal. That That's a great aspect. The closure, the way they close your body off here with the side skirts. Ain't nothing getting inside there, yo. The inside of my body still look brand new. I done took it out on the, in the park. I done ran on the block. I done 
took it to the dirt. The inside, the shocks and everything is dirty, but the inside of the body, the way the body sits on and it got these side skirts up on it, ain't nothing getting inside there. Nothing. Nothing. That, that's a good, you know, to keep everything inside there clean and, you know, secure. Nothing getting inside there. That's good right there. That's a good aspect of this thing right here. Um, the arms, the arms, yo, look at these things, man. These things just as, as big as my fingers. Oh, man, them things is, I swear them things is as big as my fingers. Them things, is, and they metal. The side pieces is plastic, but they metal. So, them things is definitely equipped. I mean, the car is equipped to take some real bashing. I wouldn't suggest jumping this thing so high because it's a low chastity car. So the body is sitting low and it does, it definitely does bottom out. It 100% it bottoms out. Um, you can't get it up to sit up that high because if it's a low chastity, when you sit it up higher than what it's supposed to be, it's gonna roll on you whenever you're trying to make turns and stuff like that, it's gonna roll on you. It's gonna willy on you when you take off very easy. So um, keep your chastity low on it. Don't try to bring it up so that you can go and make you know crazy jumps. Um, and to remind you, this is a red cat. This is not armor, you know, because I tried to bash this thing. It ain't bashing like the armor. It definitely not bashing like the armor. The shocks, the shocks is big, they strong, but the way they build a shocks is a default inside how they build a shocks. So on the bottom half of the shock, the bottom of the shock itself, the rod that comes down on the shock, you have a small piece. This is the bottom part of your shock. So the default is, is that the, the rod that comes out of the bottom of your shock this screws, that screws inside of here, right? And if we all know metal screwing into plastic after a quite bashing, this, uh, the shocks is how, what the uh, car is actually taking all of the impact. That's the first impact. Well, the second impact after the tires. First, the tires hit the ground, then the shocks take the impact after that, and then it gives to the body, right? And if this is being screwed into the bottom of the shock, when the car takes an impact, that screw is going to be, you know, it's going to bounce. It's going to get friction inside here. And that screw is going to end up stripping. And it happened to me. And I, uh, um, I reached out to Red Cat. And Red Cat, believe me or not, Red Cat is, has the best customer service you don't even talk to nobody person to person. You go and you chat with them and they resolve your problems like that. I reached out to them. Uh, they It took maybe about, they say, give it up to an hour or two, something like that for somebody to respond. When somebody respond, I resolve my issue in about two minutes. No, I wouldn't even say two minutes. I, I told him what was my problem. He asked me what is the issue going on because I, I went in to the warranty area. And he asked me what was the problem, what was the issue that was going on. I told him, listen, my shock, uh, um, the bottom part of my shock popped off. When I, I put it on, I screwed it back on and it keep popping off. I don't know what's the problem with it. He said, okay, no problem. Boom. Next thing I know, they saying that I'm uh, um, uh, something been shipped out to uh, come my way. And I'm... Like, yo, they sent these pieces out. Like, what the, that's, that's, yo, so fast, so fast. So Red Cat definitely, if you have a problem with their vehicles, they stand by their vehicles 100%. I'm not even going to lie with you. I'm not lying with you with that one. They stand by their vehicles 100%. They stand by their warranties 100%. And they will ship them pieces out to you in a blink of an eye. So that, it was resolved, but... It is a default in the shocks with them pieces. So what I did was I took those pieces, I put glue inside of it, and I shoved it back inside this so that it won't 
uh, it's not moving, you know? The glue, I, I took the glue, it's pretty much like a uh, um, screw lock in your, your, when you're screwing metal to metal. It's like the screw lock so that it won't shake and the screw pop back out. Same thing I did with this. I took some glue, I put it on it, I screwed it on, let it sit. I did all four of them, I let it sit for um, overnight, and then the next day, slapped them back on. Haven't had that problem yet. So it's, it comes as a default, but it's not a default you can't fix. And it's definitely not a default that Red Cat won't try to help you fix. So um, to finish off my review on this car, I believe I touched pretty much uh, almost every aspect of how this car, you know, the body of it, the protection of the body, the inside, the electronics, the shocks, the arms, everything, the tires, you know. So um, my ending review of this car, I'm definitely giving this car. Now, if I'm going off the 4S that it came with, I would give it one thumb up. Honestly, I would give it one thumb up because the 4S is not, and I don't think it's powerful enough to, pu to push this car the way it's supposed to be pushed. Now, if I never put a 6S inside this car, yeah, running with my other, I couldn't compare it to my other 6S because that's a 6S, this a 4S. You know, I compare it to one of them if I put a 4S inside there, but it's still not the same. A 4S motor and a 6S motor running off a 4S battery is still not the same. It's not the same power. So the 4S version of this, I would give one thumb up. It's 100% is fun. It's fun. The car is equipped to take some bash and you can run this thing. It's definitely fun. You can't do no crazy jumps because, like I said, it's a low chastity. And when it comes down, you definitely that, that chastity is definitely hitting the ground. And look at that, man. I forgot all about that. You see the, the design they give you? <laughs> there it go. So the bottom of this baby, oh man. Like I said, the look of it is beautiful, man. The, the oh man, the whole design, the way this thing run, the, the low chastity. The chastity, <laughs> that design on the chastity is definitely bad. So honestly, just because of the 4S, you know, I'm judging it off the 4S. Just because of the 4S system that's inside there, I would give it one thumb up. I mean, I would honestly give it one and a half because it's it still was fun. It was too big to, for the power that it had, but it still was fun. So I would give it one and a half. I can imagine a 6S version of this. That one will be bad. But the 6S, judging this thing off the 6S Mamba system I put it in, man, this thing get two thumbs up all day, man. All day. Everything, you know, Outside of the shock system, because every car have its default, but you know the shock system is a default, but it's an easy fix, so easy. You know, if it breaks on you, all you gotta do, okay, pop it off. You don't even have to replace it with a new one. Just take the old one. I replace it with a new one because I want to screw it back in. I want it to be in that thread. You know, so I'm not even gonna say that. Yes, replace it with the new one, and you get four sets when you get the car. So if you haven't broken any of them on your shocks, take the shocks off, put a little glue inside of it, some uh, crazy glue, Gorilla Glue, whatever you have, tire glue, whatever you have, put some glue inside of it, just like you would do uh, your screw lock. Do it the same way you would do your screw lock, but it's crazy glue, tire glue. You gotta be fast because it does stick very fast. So put the glue on it, put a nice amount on it so that it's, you know, when you put a lot of glue, it, it takes a little bit to really stick hard. Put some glue on it, twist it on all the way up as far as you can get it, and let it sit for about two hours, and your shocks is just like any other car that shocks, definitely good to go. And then if it gives you a problem, you always could, you know, force it back off and pop it off. The glue ain't permanent, you know, and you pop it back off. So that right there, I'm going to call it like that. I'm going to give it a thumb and a half for the 4S, but with the 6S system I put inside of it, that joint get four thumbs up, definitely four thumbs up, definitely a good car. And like I said when I was unboxing it, Red Cat really listened to us and they, um, you know, they heard what people say about their body getting damaged. 
off of the scratches from the um, clips that you put on it, and they put a little uh, protection piece that goes on before you put the clip on it. That, that right there, I'm still appreciating that because I love my bodies. I love keeping my bodies looking, you know, pretty good. You know, if they dirty, they dirty, but scratched up, that's a whole nother thing. So that's my review on the Red Cat Machete. You know, this is my intake of it. This is not everybody intake of it. So if you don't agree with my intake of it, give me your opinion. If you have one, give me your opinion on what you think about it. But this is only my opinion on it. It's a good vehicle. It's a good rig, great rig. Um, she runs and she runs hard. You know, you can't, you, you can't, like I said, you can't jump crazy with her, but she definitely runs hard. She definitely runs hard. And I'm going to call it like that. That's me. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to kick out of here. Once again, thanks for everybody for coming back, subscribing to my channel, coming back and um, showing me love. Definitely thanks to all you guys. I appreciate it. Anybody that just coming to this channel for the first time, get down with the Louis Fix It gang. Hit that subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can be the first one to see these videos, first one to like these videos, first one to share these videos, and the first one to comment. Because I always say, talk to me, I talk back. So until the next run, 